Hello, so guess who I've got? The man of the night. The He's man right of the captain, the captain's the, <laughs> the, the leader. The leader in green. In the man of the May the 26th, 1989, Mr. Michael Thomas. Yes, but I'm not just a man. I'm just I'm part of the team. I'm part of the club. It's not about me. Please. We look, he's our leader. It's all about leading. Look at look at look at, look at George. Look at him. It's looking smooth in there. I will be talking to Tony Adams, Mr. Mr. Arsenal, very shortly. Michael. Okay. Michael. Okay. I was behind okay. the goal that night, to the left of it. You sure you was behind the goal? Yes. Everybody I meet, darling. Was that goal. I was there. What was hundred thousand behind the Anfield or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Okay. Now you fluffed a chance. Yes, I did. I did. And I look back at it and go, oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. I had that miss that chance, unlike me. But I thought. To my defence, I had two players very close to me, and they were going to close me down. I just fluffed it, and that's it. I fluffed it, but I knew I might get another chance. I don't know why. My psyche said I would get another chance. A couple of months ago, I interviewed Stevie Nicol for a podcast. Oh, Stevie, he's a great and man. Great. I fella. asked love him, him. I, him. I asked Stevie Nicol why he didn't take you out straight at that moment, and he said the ball came so fast. Off his shoulder, off, his shoulder, off me, and then bounced in the path where I was going. So that is that's not fate. What it can be, you know. The fact that you had two chances in well, the last. Well, well, okay, you said one. You said, all right, okay, two. The I finished fact, the second one, didn't I? The fact that you had two chances at Anfield yeah, yeah. in the 80s, and the fact that we needed two the clear 80s. goals to win. Yeah, yeah, we did. And um, to be honest, we had no fear of at Anfield at all. Whenever playing Liverpool, we had no fear at that time. The players behind me, we, 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 any game we played, we, we knew we could win. Um, when you scored and you tried to do your somersault, dear, dear Maradona head flip, whatever it was. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what I was doing that, but yeah, going, yeah. Martin Hayes stopped you, didn't he? Yeah, he broke my neck. Yeah, I said, what was it? And I look at it, I went, why, Asia? I could have broke my neck there if he stopped me. And I'd done that in the season, and he, no one stopped me then, but obviously he stopped me. Just want to ask you one last question: the moment that ball goes in. When does it register that we've beaten them 2-0 and we pick up the championship trophy? It registers when the whistle goes and I see Dave Rowcastle hugging Jules Graham and they go, what the hell's going on now? That's when it registers. David and George hugging. Uh-uh. On behalf of every Arsenal fan, we have St Michael Thomas Day know, on May the 20th. South Africans always text me and, and they always get texts and, you know. You will be forever our hero, our legend and everything. It should be St Michael Thomas Day, it should be Sir 89 Day for everybody. Would it's you day. like us to rename it Sir 89 yeah, Day? Yeah, yeah, 89 Day, because it's not about me, it's, it's a family. It will be a family. We know that, and it, you know the whole team were a remarkable. Yeah, yeah. The coaching staff, I've just yeah. seen Theo, Great. fantastic. Love Theo. I, love, I love him. I, know. I love him. Even, even my nemesis, George. It's great seeing him. It's great seeing him. Just he's like Mourinho of his day, wasn't he? <laughs> he's uh, no, he's better than Mourinho. Don't yeah, you yeah. dare tar him with that yeah, brush. Yeah, but he did bore you some now and again. But yeah. <laughs> Until you got wiser, I can't play like this no more. <laughs> oh, Michael, thank you so much. Thank you so, and thank you for scoring that goal. Oh, thank you.